Lockheed Martin S miniature hit to kill, MHTK, multi-role missile for U.S. Army. Miniature hit to kill, MHTK, interceptor missile is developed by Lockheed Martin for the U.S. Army, as part of the Extended Area Protection and Survivability Integrated Demonstration Program. The U.S. Army has awarded Lockheed Martin a $2.6 million contract to continue development of its miniature hit-to-kill interceptor, or MHTK. The service is interested in using the weapon to help troops on the ground knock down incoming artillery projectiles and small unmanned aerial vehicles, but the tiny missile, or other designs leveraging some portion of its technology, could possibly evolve to take all roles of a missile, simply MHTK is a multi-role missile. The Maryland headquartered defense contractor announced the deal in a press release on June 2018. The contract also moves the MHTK out of the experimental science and technology phase and into formal development. Lockheed Martin has been actively working on MHTK since 2012, developing the system with a combination of internal company funds and contracts from the Army. The company conducted its most recent flight test, White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico in January 2018. Lockheed Martin keeps the size of the interceptor down in large part by eliminating the need for a warhead. Instead, the MHTK uses its speed and precision to physically slam into its target and destroy it, hence hit to kill. The complete system uses radar on the ground to spot incoming threats and cue the missile toward them. A small active seeker inside the missile then takes over to guide the interceptor into its target. The small size also expands the magazine depth of the RMAS multi-mission launcher, since four MHTKs can fit inside each one of its 15 launch cells. This means one launcher alone could conceivably carry a full load of 60 interceptors, which could help the complete system have the necessary volume to have the best chance of defending against a large-scale indirect attack. MHTK had been competing more directly against a team made up of Raytheon and Israel's Raphael Advanced Defense Systems, who had been offering a missile called Sky Hunter. This was effectively a modified version of the Tamir Inceptor, which is the weapon at the core of the Israeli Iron Dome Defense System. Iron Dome's primary targets are also rockets and other artillery rounds. Together, the Extended Area Protection and Survivability Integrated Demonstration Program and the Multi-Mission Launcher are both essential parts of the Army's effort to address an increasingly glaring short-range air defense gap and emerging concerns about swarms of small unmanned aircraft. MHTKS size and low price point could potentially make it, or a system derived from it, attractive both within the Army and to other U.S. military services in other formats. In the same vein, the interceptors might be a useful supplement to point defense systems on ships. The compact nature of the system means that it could potentially fit on almost any size of watercraft to offer additional protection against various threats. In May 2018, the U.S. Navy announced it was interested in acquiring a hard-kill defense system to defend various large and increasingly vulnerable cargo and other combat support aircraft from incoming missiles. Lockheed Martin has already proposed a conceptual small, hit-to-kill air-to-air missile called CUDA for its F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. These would still be significantly larger than the MHTK interceptors. Whatever the case, Lockheed Martin and the Army are moving ahead in developing the MHTK for its primary and important role of guarding against incoming indirect attacks and small unmanned aircraft. But hit-to-kill missile technology is clearly a growing field and there is significant potential for Lockheed Martin's MHTK to take on a wider variety of missions using single missile. Thank you for watching. Please like, 
share, comment, and subscribe.